It's 8 p.m. in Banjul and from our studios on MDI Road, this is the news and in the headlines tonight. President Bar receives officials of Taf Africa Homes. Gambian businessman Amadou Samba says his friendship with former President Jame hindered his business. The health minister lays the foundation stone for the construction of a major hospital in Sara Alpha. And Egypt's foreign minister visits Gulf states to ease tensions in the Middle East. Well, viewers, those are the headlines. Thanks for joining us. His Excellency President Adam Abaro will travel to Dubai to attend the Global Investment Forum and the fourth annual cross up Summit. The President will be on a panel of three African heads of state to discuss investment opportunities in Africa. This would accord him the opportunity to promote the Gambia's investment opportunities. Meanwhile, the Gambian leader, Monde, received officials of TAF Africa Homes, who presented an award to him following the nomination of the company in the All Business Leaders Award. The group was also at State House to inform the president about the company's networking forum scheduled for the end of the year. Isa Tuketa tells us more. Senior officials of Taft Africa Homes were at the office of the presidency to present an award given to the CEO during the All Business Leaders Awards held in Abuja, Lagos, organized by CNBC. It's a very um, uh, tough competition, you know, for business leaders. And um, uh, then we were selected, about four of us, we were selected out of all that were nominated. And um, um, uh, then we emerged the winner, you know, at a gala dinner that was organized um, in Lagos. Receiving the award, His Excellency President Barrow congratulated Mr. Njai for his steadfastness in making a name for himself and representing the Gambia in the outside world. Top construction is a household name in the Gambia. I was a little bit skeptical years back when I heard that you are moving to Nigeria, knowing the level of Nigeria. I have my doubts that whether you can fit in that market. I think you were able to prove yourself beyond any reasonable doubt. We rest assured. We will do everything possible to make so the democratic process we started in this country to build a very strong foundation. His visit was also coupled with an invitation to the president to the networking event to be held in December. And the main purpose of it is to bring together, you know, Gambians from all walks of life and targeting mainly the youth. You know, so we can inspire them from the experience that we have won. They can look up to us, you know, and to inspire them to take up um, uh, their active role. After being awarded as the Business Entrepreneur of the Year 2017, the company is said to have already set record, becoming not only a household name in the country, but prides itself as one of the leading businesses in Africa. For GHS News, I am Isa Tukaita. His Excellency, President Adam Abaro, will travel to Dubai to attend the Global Investment Forum and the fourth annual cross up Summit. The President will be on a panel of three African heads of state to discuss investment opportunities in Africa. This would accord him the opportunity to promote the Gambia's investment opportunities. The Gambian leader and delegation will depart Banjul International Airport Tuesday, 14th November at 4 p.m. Those invited to see him off are requested to be at the airport half an hour before departure for the usual ceremonies. I was a friend to Yaya Jame, not a business associate, and this friendship has hindered the progress of my businesses, says Amadou Samba in his testimony on Monday at the ongoing Commission of Enquiry. Suma Jadama was following the proceedings. You were a supporter and an advisor. Is that correct? No, I, I was supporting his party. As a businessman, I was supporting his party. In fact, he was in a way using me. Like when he has big gatherings, he will make sure that I'm invited, even if I don't go, he will ask for me. 
and sometimes he will call me and I find out why I didn't go. The man whose business remained a household name faced commissioners to explain how the Gamvec oil company was focused by the government of the Gambia and later bought by KGI. The sales agreements for both the aborted sale between the Gambia government and Gamvec oil as well as the sale agreement between Gamvec oil and KGI International indicate that you did sign on these agreements. I'd like to show them to you. That's BB75A and BB75C. I was never involved in the transaction, meaning that from the word go, they have never involved me. If you, even if you look at all the correspondence from the beginning, and I, from the beginning, that is from the uh, beginning, meaning that when they were negotiating with government at the start, if you look at the, the correspondence, the minutes and everything, nothing indicates that I was part of it. Mr. Samba rejected claims made by Modulam in Songo of M.A. Karafi, asked unfounded, saying the purchase of Karaba Beach Hotel was never coordinated and signed by him. Instead, he added that it was facilitated and co-signed by one robot Aswadin and the late Baba Job. Uh, Mr. Sonko said um, he was acting for Emir Karafi and Sons who purchased the hotel subsequently from the president. And um, he said Emir Karafi had said to him that he, should, he wanted to buy the hotel for 10 million. I will hotel. begin by saying that Boss Boto's evidence is all concocted. There is no it's iota. All? It's all concocted. There is no air of truth in it because I was never at any time invited by Yaya Jame and Boto to discuss this transaction. Never. And I have, you know, I mean, it has never happened because I, I heard that Boto came here to say that I am the one that signed. I have documents to prove that it was not me that signed. During the marathon session, the business tycoon tendered sale agreement document surrounding the sale of Kairaba Beach Hotel. Suma Jadama reporting for GRTS. The Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Finance, Lamin Kamara, on Monday presented the joint report of the Ministry of Finance and, it, and the Office of the Accountant General in response to the recommendations made by the Finance and Public Accounts Committee of the National Assembly. Ibrahim Asane tells us more. Presenting the report before deputies, P.S. Kamara took the committee through the queries raised by members and actions taken by his ministry in addressing them. He said most of the documents have been found and available to Auditor General for inspection. To come back to meet the FPA committee for the recommendations of the last fact pack. Um, the last time we were here and uh, gave some reflections of where we left off last year, just to give a briefing of some recommendations and macro, I mean, variables performance of the economy. On concerns of misuse of contingent funds, P.S. Camera informed deputies that his ministry put a mechanism in place to redress the situation of which the evidence is available for review with the Accountant General's Office. 2.1.2 concerns misuse of contingent fund. Under the recommendation from the committee was that the joint session recommends that all the requested document, documentation be submitted for audit and the contingent fund be used for its intended purpose. We have realized that all violations from the contingent fund budget line in 2013 were approved by the Honorable Minister of Finance. Evidence of this is available for review at the Accountant General's Department Accounting Unit. Responding to the reports by Permanent Secretary, Minister of Finance, deputies expressed concern for proper documentation in spending public funds. Member for Wooly West, City Jata, or the Finance Ministry to act in accordance with the rules and regulations guarding their mandate. This is Public Accounts Committee. 
And I want to emphasize that word again. This is public account committee. And you, permanent secretary, accounting general, the act, finance act, public finance act, has defined clearly your responsibilities, has given you powers to carry out those responsibilities. You know, sometimes I'm sorry to speak the way I'm going to speak, but I cannot understand why all that is happening in this document ha have happened. Given your responsibilities and your powers, if those responsibilities are exercised according to the act, I would not have seen any room for this. Member for Banjul Stout, Fatma Tanjai, and Yakuba Jaite, nominated member, said the FPAC will not compromise with spending of public funds. For us to confirm whether what is in this report is true or not, we have to somehow go to search for the evidences. Like records of this is with the Accountant General, engagement with GRA. Most documents you said are available to the Auditor General for inspection. Do we need to go to the Auditor General to ask for them? We summoned you to give us evidence and we expected you to come with these evidences. So what we expect henceforth, I think we, we will have to put our steps down and make sure business is not as usual. We need to take our steps, we need to take action because this committee is very important. Subject matter specialist of FPAC committee, Dr. David Darrell Tomi and Abdullah Cham of the Finance Ministry for proper documentation of evidence of public spending. The Speaker of the National Assembly, Maria Majad Dentin, asked the Finance Ministry to hand in all documents to the Auditor General by Wednesday, 15th November 2017. Ibrahima N. Sane. GRTS News. The Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Safilo Sise, Saturday laid the foundation stone for the construction of a hospital in Sara Alpha Village in Kantora District. As Farmer Akanyi reports, the hospital is in fulfillment of a campaign promise made by President Barrow. Kilometers away from the town of Base lies Sara Alpha. With this rough road and dusty environment, the village represents one of the most underdeveloped parts of the Kantora district. The villagers welcomed the health minister and her delegation as they anticipate the possibility of change. These villagers have suffered 22 years of systematic neglect due to their political identity. Laying the foundation stone of this hospital was the efforts of Alhaji Baniko Sisoho and a group of young people in Kantora by mobilizing funds to address the health care needs of their own countrymen. Difficult in delivery, maternal death due to distance from their various communities to Basse. Their efforts are supported by the new government through the Ministry of Health and Social Welfare. We are really grateful for this um, initiative and hope that others will emulate the likes of Mr. Uh, Mr. Suisaho. Alhaji Bambo Sise is the village head. He explained how significant this hospital is going to improve their living conditions. Previously, his sick parents had to, had to struggle to the town of Kwase during medical emergencies, but having a hospital here that can address the needs of the whole region will indeed help us a lot. Dusano, a representative of the president, told the villagers that the new government is here to address the needs of all Gambians. That is the agenda of President Adam Abaro. This development is a major breakthrough for the people of the area and could significantly improve the living conditions of inhabitants. Reporting for GRCS News, I am Farmer Akani. The Public Utility Regulatory Authority, Pura, Saturday held its sixth consumer parliament at the Westfield Youth Monument. The program brought together service providers to discuss issues affecting their customers. My Marian Jai tells us more. This year's consumer parliament, organized by Pura, is indeed special and different. It is targeted at differently abled persons and how they are affected by utility service provision in general. Speaking at the forum, Ansumane Sane, Director General of Pura, said 
It is vital that the Gambia consumer gets value for money as underpinned by the guiding principles of affordability, accessibility and availability. Both Pura and the service providers will endeavor to answer I mean, any questions or concerns that you may have here. The work of uh, regulatory oversight is to ensure that within the dynamic market uh, activities and nature of the sectors we regulate, uh, continuity, consistency, and completeness. I can call that three C's, remains the bedrock of Pura's regulatory intervention. Pura Consumer Affairs Director Solo Sima said the Consumer Parliament is one of the regulatory tools the agency uses to intervene in order to engender a balanced regulatory environment. In short, the Consumer Parliament is one of the regulatory tools as used by Pura to intervene as part of the provision of a balanced regulatory environment with a view to creating a holistic compliance resolution mechanism in fulfillment of our mandate under the Pura Act of 2001. The Consumer Parliament has provided an open platform for different utility user groups, including physically challenged people being targeted by Pura, to interact with service providers, engaging all regulated entities to confront and address general concerns. Customers voiced out concerns on the lack of electricity and water in most areas in the Gambia, and Norek responded by saying that the problem will be fixed as soon as possible. Other service providers like Gamcel, Africel, QCell and Conium also answered questions raised by customers and promised to work towards customer satisfaction. In the absence of special packages for physically challenged persons, disabled individuals also expressed concern over what they described as discrimination for not being covered by service providers. The group also called on GRTS to cater for their needs by engaging an interpreter for the news and other programs. Mary Njai Ajayi, GRTS News. The community of Bijilo has been sensitized to mental health disorders by a charity called Supportive Activist Foundation. The event discussed major causes of mental health illnesses, effects and treatment for affected persons. Fatima Tassise has more. Like physical illnesses, mental health disorders occur in a variety of forms, symptoms of which can overlap, making disorders hard to diagnose. Mental health illnesses can be caused by biological, psychological and environmental factors. In a drive to cope the rising trend of mental health cases in the Gambia, members of Supportive Activist Foundation, a volunteer mental health association, held a sensitization forum in Bijilo, where they discussed major contributing factors to mental health disorders and support for affected persons. When you talk about mental health issues, it's about the, the inability to cope with influences. What are these influences? The influence are the environmental factors which could contribute. They are based on our needs. Mental health instability exists in broad categories and the people who have a family history of mental health disorders may be more prone to developing one at some point as well as changes in brain chemistry from substance abuse. They start entering into these cannabis issues. For them, it is very helpful when you use cannabis. But what happens is that when you use it, it kills your brain cells. So the way you're thinking have an affection. Normally how you react and how you will react after smoking is a different way. And it is the society that justifies who is mentally ill. When you act abnormal to the way the society don't accept, you are mentally affected. Depression, anxiety, mood, psychotic and impulse control disorders can form the foundations for harmful thought patterns associated with mental disorders, says the president of No Health Without Mental Health, Mohamed Toure. Members of Supportive Activist Foundation are hopeful that, with effective awareness creation campaign on mental health in conjunction with behavioral or cognitive therapy for affected persons, the surge in mental health cases in the Gambia will be curtailed. Fatima Tassisei, GRTS News. 
The network against gender-based violence through Action Aid the Gambia have secured a funding from Amplified Change to advocate for the end of FGM in the Gambia. Sena Gujain reports. Fourteen institutions were present today at the opening ceremony of the five-day capacity training for anti-FGM fundraising. The funding secured will help towards eradicating FGM. Institutions will use the money raised to help and support victims as well as educate parents and kids about the dangers of violence against women and young girls. Speaking at the event was Hadi Mbojbaro. In the capacity of network to eradicate FDM, jointly Action Aid and uh, Network Against Gender-Based Violence, funded by Amplify Team, uh, since 2016, you will agree with me a lot of uh, training, capacity building training have been done, uh, ranging from uh, HRBA, financial management, participatory monitoring, advocacy among others. Capacity building is key and fundraising is also key for the survival of any organization, especially a network that has a lot of membership who are doing their own business but who are also affiliated to a network that has some responsibilities to deliver. Um, as CSOs, we know um, we are not um, profit-oriented organizations, so we don't have businesses running. So we need to be able to mobilize resources to be able to run our programs. But what does it take to do that? It requires a lot of steps. We should take this training very seriously and learn and share. It's not only about mobilizing funds, it's also about managing, management. So that's why even if government is able to have secured source of funding from from taxpayers the management is very important we the taxpayers also want to know how uh, monies that are mobilized from our pockets are used during the presentation participants and institutional leaders looked and explored potential avenues to gather information regarding the fundraising expected to start soon towards raising funds for FGM. The idea is that um, the network has a project and this project's objective is to strengthen the network and when we talk of the network we're talking of the membership because it's a membership based organization to strengthen their capacity um, so that they will be able to you know, um, address the issue of FDM in the Gambia. So we're hoping that from the skills we're going to gather, we'll be able to apply for more funding, especially from Amplify Change, which is the, um, supporting this training. We've secured a little bit of funding from them over the past year, and we're about to apply for another one. And we're hoping that with the skills we get from here, we'll be able to justify more and also be able to prove that we've improved, especially with regards to our organizational capacity. One of the plans is to strengthen institutional capacity through training programs to effectively address issues affecting the sexual and reproductive health rights of women and girls, particularly FGM victims. I am Sainu Bajan for GRTS News. Time now to take our first commercial break. The sports news is up next. Stay with us. Carry your bank everywhere you go with the GT Bank Gambia mobile app. Take control of your account anytime, anywhere with ease and security. Do your banking the smart way with the GT Bank Gambia mobile app. Check your account balance, transfer funds, binary cash power and mobile credit, withdraw money from our ATM and POS and pay your bills, request for a VERF card or Visa card, check your Forex rates and do so much more in just a few steps. Download the GT Bank Gambia mobile app today for from Google Play Store or Apple Store. Do your banking the smart way. Do your banking now with the GT Bank Gambia mobile app. Terms and conditions apply. GT Bank, wouldn't you rather bank with us? Lubesa Bess, Lubesa Bess, Nemoji for it. Hey, Lubesa Bess, Lubesa Bess, Nemoji for it. Hey, Mawahati, Newell, Akasaka Lol, Newell, Akalik Lol, Newell, Ned Major Frank, Newell, Ned Major Puru, Newell, Ned Major Trapola.
yeen ñu doon ut forign bu baax forign bu sakan demal tay ca Mustafa Ji Diallo am sons ca 61 OE yu Bolivar mbi ca yit nga tegg sa telephone call len ci 4227566 wala yit 9244331 kon wala yit nga dem ci sen makkar ba nek picture wakir Mustafa Ji Diallo am sons the much anticipated china green tea you have been waiting for is now in the gambia yes ataya dawa is here ataya dawa is irresistible and has the highest quality you can ever find in green tea its packet is well branded with a label tea dawas on its packet there are many green teas in town but hey why not try dawas today and feel the difference drinking ataya dawas awakens your strength and energizes your day ataya dawas is available in all grocery stores and retail shops across the country for wholesale and retail visit ena zahaso at ekwos avenue in banjo adjacent the police headquarters or you may call them on 7423167 7423167 ataya dawas moko yow wa ina saha mané tej nañu jamano warga dawas di warga bu gën ci warga yi Welcome back. Double champions interior female side are winners of the women's first division Super Cup final after they beat Immigration 4-0 on Sunday. Mudula Minsane tells us more. Women champions Immigration have reclaimed their title as champions of Women League after Sunday's 4-0 win over Immigration. Interior scored two first half goals through Mama Sidi and Catherine Jata. The defending champions continue their dominance of the game with two other strikes in the second half. Our Tarawale and Basi Dabo netting the third and fourth goals respectively to make it 4-0. The immigration made several attempts to secure a consolation goal but were denied by the interior defense. I am very much happy today uh, becoming the head coach of interior for the first time female team. Uh, that winning the Super Cup against immigration is a very big thing for me. You could see from the game, those that are in under 17 and also those that are in the national team, the type of football they have displayed here. So really, we, I work very hard together with everybody, part of the team, to make sure that we achieve what we have achieved today. The Women's Super Cup was watched by dignitaries, among them community representatives. I am very much impressed today to come and witness this football because it's a game of female between interior and immigration. I'm not surprised because I know that women can do it. I believe in equity. I'm talking to the stakeholders to help them to move forward. The champions receive a cash prize and a giant trophy. Reporting for GRTS Sports, I am Mudlam Sane. We will be back with news from outside the Gambia right after this break. In early age, we value the feeling of speed, the thrill of the wind as we rush to our destinations, the feel of our feet bounding over the ground, the way the world blurs as we rush by, faster, faster than a ray of light, I'm flying. I have one speed, I have one gear. Keep on moving, I won't stop till I get there. Want to experience speed? Then subscribe to the Gambia's only 4G LTE mobile network, QCell. With speeds of up to 45 megabytes per second, you can get online in the blink of an eye. The fastest browsing, stream videos faster, do much more. More, faster. Just our star 335 hash to join the fastest club. QSELS 4GE LTE mobile network. Go faster. For more information, call 111 QSELS. Senior boss. We innovate others follow. The golden deals in Batimat, the best deals of the year. Yeah. If I say discounts on the whole house, you say a new living room? Alright. And if I tell you incredible prices, <laughs> We make, make over, over the, the bathroom. bathroom. So take the plunge into the water. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. Take your comfort to another level. <laughs> so do not miss the golden deal. The prices? In promotion. Batiman. Quality guaranteed. The golden deal. The best deals of the year for the whole house with Batiman's quality. GT Bank is back again. Yes. Last year, we gave away a brand new Hyundai Accent. This year, we are giving out a Hyundai Toxin 4-wheel. 
Isn't that cool? For a limited time only, you can stand a chance of winning bags of rice, onions, sugar, and 20 liters of pure vegetable cooking oil by maintaining a deposit balance of $10,000 to $50,000 in your GT Bank account for three months. And when you deposit over $50,000, you could win a motorcycle, fruit freezer, or a 32 inch LED TV. And even more, maintain over $200,000 in your GT Bank account from April to December and stand a chance to win a brand new Hyundai Toxin or catch a return ticket to Dubai plus $2,000 pocket money or a bedroom set. So start saving now and be a winner with GT Bank. GT Bank save on win terms and conditions apply. GT Bank, wouldn't you rather bank with us? Welcome back. Egypt is stepping in to try and ease tensions in the Middle East. The foreign minister is visiting.